Now he's still a young buck. He still has a lot to prove. He's obviously focused on his studies, you know. But, you know, this is the time to do it. And he already had a phenomenal run at Fusion. Only losing one single game at Fusion. And that came to Leon. And even then, like, it was just a, de a destructive path for for um, our boy Quid. However, this is also going to be a tough task for him in a player of Suarez's caliber who's going to make it hard. I mean, Yoshi has a lot of jank to just get away with a character against a character like PT, but... I was going to say, Double Jump Armor, mm -hmm. one of the best tools in the game, right? Yeah. To be able to find your way around Ivy Swords Edgeguard, but it's not going to matter if you just can't get back and reset to neutral. Well, Squid Squirtle has been so good catching landings over and over and over, using this water gun to try and roll out. Suarez trying to find the link in, but only getting a hit before Earth, or Quid is able to immediately reset and find, find stage control all, all over. No, yeah, for sure. And, I mean, you're seeing it right now. Quid putting on a dominating performance, maintaining all that stage control. We've seen one too many down smashes with the Squirtle, so hopefully that changes up a bit. You're gonna see the jab lock that and the great deal of damage, great stuff coming out from Suarez. You don't wanna go for a stock. You wanna get damage right now because nothing's yeah. gonna kill. I was gonna say, in that down air, Dealing 24 is ridiculous. That was a really cool combo. Oh, you think it only does 24? Uh, oh, does, no. Doesn't it do 24? It does, no, it does 35. Right, why does it do 35? And speaking of, if, if, what <laughs> was that DI from Quid? No, that, that, out? That, was a, that was a call out from yeah. Suarez. He it, actually had everything planned out perfectly. There. Oh, it, no, it was a beautiful call out, but Quid's DI also not ideal there. Mm -hmm. Charizard are dying off the top pretty early for him. And now Suarez is able to find, is finding a little bit of a custom string, right? Calling, calling out Quid's switches, calling out his options over and over, and finding stage control for the first time in a while. Quid looking to close out the stock with Charizard, but if you've watched him recently, you've noticed his Charizard has been lacking a little bit as well. It's also very rare to see the Quid Zard be out for this long. I mean, obviously it gets the job done with the kills, but yeah, you're usually seeing the IV, if not the, the Squirtle, the one doing the most damage. Now going to the tried and true of the Ivysaur pick, yeah. which you're going to start seeing swing. You're going to see a lot of mix-ups, a lot of Vine Whips, and a lot of Razor Leaves just start catching Suarez slipping if he can't play carefully. And right, you see the immediate sort to Ivysaur because right, Yoshi has a lot of kill power. Er, and at 87, Squirtle was at kill percent, mm. but even at 104, that up smash going to find the stock. And just like that, at Suarez, is it has a stock lead over Quid, pretty significant one of that. Only at 68 on his own, and Quid now on his last stock at game number one here. This yeah. would be a monumental game one win for Suarez. Yeah, no, you definitely want to have the upper edge coming into the rest of the set. It doesn't matter if you barely win the game. It doesn't matter if you run away by a, a, a mile in this game. You have to take what you can, and one game for Suarez means the world, especially against a player of Quid's caliber. I don't know what their set count may be, but I do know for sure that it seems like Suarez is not phased by whoever this PT is. No, he's not at all. And what you're seeing, right, Suarez has found a lot of openings on this Ivy, so really abusing the fact that Ivy's is neutral, not, not all that good, right? Like, you, no. you you lean a lot on Vine Whip, you lean a lot, or sorry, on, on uh, Razor Leaf, a lot on back air. And when you can't find those, which is very hard against Yoshi through double jump armor, through egg, right? Like, it, it can be very hard to, to actually get these advantage states where Ivysaur can thrive so, so hard. And it's not even so much about, you know, the usage of, like, we know that Ivysaur likes to play the mid-level game. You want, like, just um, use those race release. Just keep Yoshi at bay. But if you're not careful, Yoshi has the air drift to just get in your face so easily. It's like... You have to be very cautious about the way that you do lies uh, Razor Leafs and the way that you get back on stage too because now you're at a deficit. And, oh no. Oh. Finding the sour spot there, it's still gonna kill yeah. all the way out there in the blast zone. Suarez incredibly confident. Having his double jump, having both eggs, was gonna find his way back. And I think one of the one of the I think stories of that game was the way Suarez played off stage. Mm -hmm. Both in advantage, he was incredibly efficient, right? He found his edge guards but also in disadvantage. Yeah. When he, like, quit, he was able to find his way around vine whip after vine whip, right? Those upbeat callouts. Out, and then once he went low, he was delaying his egg throws to call out the, those down airs. Quid wasn't able to find a single edge guard. One of the things that, Quid's one of the best at, at edge guarding you in the world. Yeah. And Suarez just did not give him a single opportunity to do so. Really good stuff from him. And now the stage counter pick, the Hollow Bastion, what do you think about that? I mean, stage counter pick, it really just comes down to what you feel is best for you. You still have a lot of space as Yoshi to just roam around in the air and on the ground as well. However, 
that middle platform is going to play, going to be an essential piece, especially for a character uh, like PT, whenever you see the Zard and or the Ivysaur come out. That's going to be very crucial, depending on how Quid decides to utilize that platform. Yeah, However, I was, yeah, you, you just want to keep in mind, like, both these characters excel with platform games. So yep. it really just comes down to who's going to get that advantage state. Yeah, I was going to say, right, you mentioned the Ivysaur, and, and right, Quid notably has a combo named after him, right, where you get the down air, drop the platform out there, two combo, the Quid combo as it's called, and, you know, there's not really a better stage to hit that on than Hollow Bastion here with that center platform, so I'm going to, I think that's probably why he picked this stage, but right now, out already the Zard out, right, this damage getting racked up, getting racked up, and... It's because Quid's looking for a kill, but Suarez is taking so much advantage, just like in game one, racking on percent after percent, and and not a, and playing it just a, the perfect mid range from Zard, where Quid just can't Ooh. find a hit. No, yeah, for sure. And you're seeing like the Zard should be getting the job done. The Zard is the one that has to close out, but we haven't seen Quid be able to utilize Zard for what they're known to do, which is close out the stocks. We've been seeing him struggle. Finally, gonna get the. F, the F tilt going, but it took so much. Like, he had at least 40% before the Zard came out, and once the Zard came out, now he's sitting yeah. practically at kill percent. Yeah, he was, at, he was at 46, and so, and only found, like, two hits, right, that entire time, mm -hmm. and just took percent after percent. Now, at kill percent, he's kind of trapped into staying with this Zard until he loses his own stock, and that's gonna be the drag down into the up air string, but Charizard, being a big boy, is not gonna find that one taken away from him just yet. Suarez trying to find these openings, but Quid's defense around these eggs has gotten so much better. Good stuff right there from Suarez calling out with the up smash, like just saying, okay, you're gonna drop. I know you're gonna try to hit me. You wanna keep this stage control and stage and, and um advantage, but you know, um, Yoshi just has the tools to just say, get off me. That was a stock that was much needed on Suarez's end. Now having to deal with the Squirtle, which he's already tacked on a good deal of damage already. Yeah, no, really good stuff, and finding those down tilts, just reading your DI, reading Suarez's as DI and saying, okay, you're not gonna DI up and away, because if you do, I'm gonna get a fair combo. If you DI down, though, I can find that down, down that down tilt chase. The eggs allowing Suarez to get back, he's made such good use out of those. And disadvantage with the up smash, quit delaying it, charging it up just a bit, and catching the landing even through that double jump armor. Really good stuff. Yeah, the last hit of that up smash gonna come in clutch there for Quid. Gonna be able to seal the stock, but a quick fair into down air. Not enough to take the stock, but that is a setup that you will rarely see unless you prepare, you, unless you're frame perfect with it. That was great coming out from Suarez. Yep, and that was the Quid class, Elder Quid classic, right? That Ivy sort of vine whip through the stage. It's just to threaten you off the ledge. Ed, however, even though he gets stage control for a second, Suarez calling out Quid's landing, finding the stock, and just like that, right, this is an even game. Mm -hmm. Game, you have Squirtle out. Yeah, he can rack on the percent. Yes, he can get you to Yes, he can get you to kill percent, and then you have to be really scared. But however, all it takes, right? You put Squirtle off stage, you get him in one combo. This character dies at seven. Yeah. So, and you just have to you you have to be scared of him. Well, we're definitely not gonna have to worry about that as Suarez missing an unfortunate tech. One of, it's a rare oddity for anybody at this kind of a uh, level of play, uh, high caliber players, you know, to miss techs like that, especially in these kind of situations. You can't let those go and slip off your grasp. That's unfortunate for Suarez, who could have brought it back. I was gonna say, we might have probably seen the swap to Ivysaur if, uh, if Squirtle were to get um, Yoshi off stage. However, it wasn't needed. I mean, yeah. the quick reaction coming out from Quid to get the jab lock and just take take control of the stock. I mean, I e just, even then, I was gonna say like, Suarez smiling about it, like he's not letting it face him whatsoever. No, not at all. And I think that mistech, it might have been accidental. It might have also been intentional as a mix up, right? Because if you do find, if you do tech there, um, Squirtle is fast enough that you can kind of chase them down, get that grab on, get that grab on reaction, or get a call out out if they try and pick something aggressive like a jump afterwards with a forward air, put Yoshi off stage anyways, and then as you were saying, right, you have to deal with that Ivysaur. So maybe trying to find a mix up, unfortunately not working out, and we're gonna see the stage counter pick here for game three, heading over to PS2, and we're one one apiece. Who do you think's taking the set game? I mean, I definitely can't show the biasness, but I could definitely say I'm rooting for Suarez. But at the end of the day, both these players are have proven time and time again why they are both deserving to be the one moving on to the next round. After that, phenomenal game one from Suarez, and then that great comeback uh, 
from Quid responding with uh, Vengeance. I mean, it really just comes down to who's going to play the, the stage control game. Like, I think that's going to be the deciding factor here. And, and you're seeing a lot more aggression from these two now. Yeah, and we're seeing that down tilt looking for the grab mix-up, right? After finding that down tilt uh, chase his last game, Quid mixing it up with a grab, finding some extra percent, and starting to really mix up what he, the options he's picking, right? Finding that falling fair. We didn't even go for that a lot. Finding a nair earlier. Now the Ivy Sword at the corner. That's so scary. And the down throw Divine Whip is gonna take the stock just like that. What seemed to be a very even start to this game it was opened wide up by Quid, but Suarez racking on percent might be able to bring this back. I don't know how Quid does it time and time again. He just knows we're going to land that time around. The fair into down air. Beautiful stuff. That is an IDJ, by the way, that Suarez does. You know, you got to be real quick with it if you want it to work. Quick damage coming out either way. Suarez going to regain the lead up until now you're getting a bit too yeah. antsy. You got a bit... Um, you don't, you're showing out yeah. your nerves now, buddy. I was going to say, he, he knows he, he, he almost has this, right? He can feel, he can see what he needs to do to beat Quid, but he's getting a little bit over-aggressive, right? Trying to call out some of these options, and Quid's movement with, I, with oh Squirtle has been God. so good, just dashing back, calling out out Suarez's landings on reaction. Now the egg is gonna be an opportunity for big damage, call, catching the jump, but the e egg is gonna get beaten out by the disjoint of Vine Whip and allows out allow Quid to get out of that situation for a moment, but he still has to find his way from the corner. Oh no, for sure. And you're seeing like, you're seeing uh, Quid trying to utilize back air and Vine Whips, I mean, um, the Razor Leafs, but every single time you're seeing Suarez slowly start creeping up on Quid, and now has practically even this game out. Beautiful Nair from Suarez, and great ad adaption right there, realizing that he was gonna utilize Razor Leaf right there. End up down B, not enough. Yoshi Bomb not gonna be enough. Yeah, and great Flare Blitz. Great ground pound from Suarez, right? Finding that mix up as you were saying, but now this is the Zard again, trying to find a fair, but throughout this whole set, the Zard is kind of just really put Suarez back in the game whenever it's come out. And now with the back air, Suarez finding a lead again. Charizard betraying its trainer. It might be a little too high level. Quid, are you sure you have all the gym badges, buddy? This could be it, but the back throw gonna put this game right back even. Allow for the safe swap back all the way back to Squirtle. And this is about as close a set as you're gonna see at this event. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, Suarez and and Quid have really just been going back to back every single time. Great deal of damage though with the Squirtle. Now this is paying off for Quid, who seems to be running away with this game. However, yeah, these these down tilts, like the spacing with Squirtle of all characters, has been so keen in this in this last stop. I love that delay that time on the ground pound. He's been opting for it immediately, op delaying it slightly, allowing him to get away from the vine whip for just a second. That second one's not gonna kill, and the early egg gonna allow Suarez to just get a little bit of extra damage, find his way back to stage, and now you're underneath Ivysaur, right? This character can struggle to land if he can't get that down air out, out, out. And Yoshi's so good at catching those landings, especially with double jump armor, right? You, Ivysaur doesn't have a good tool to contest that. Suarez starting to bring this back, and Squid, the mm. hometown hero, really getting put on the ropes right now. Oh, and speaking of ropes, it takes one whip to just get yes, the job sir. done. You gotta chase it. At that point in time, it seemed like Suarez was regaining a lot of control of the game, but the one moment that he was caught slipping, Quid just ran up and said, wow.